Ah, good morning. Well, I just came from the dream time because I hadn't slept in a really long time and I woke up to come over to hear Sonia and I was like, am I still dreaming? Am I meeting a woman who shares the exact same morals and ethics that I do in my life? This is, I talk about radical self-love with, those same, with the same language and I was like, oh my God, I love her so much. <laughs> so good. Ah, oh, good morning, life. Uh, so, um... I, you know, I'm, I'm going to just take it from where you, where you left off because um, I like to talk about creativity uh, because it, I think it's our greatest human resource. It's, it's what's going to um, continue to catalyze the change that we need uh, in this world today. And it's what, what does everyone have, but sometimes we forget we have it is our creative potential. And, uh, and what is it when you step into your creative potential? That is your, that's your God self. Um, that is... That is the what has created everything in existence, including this incredible holographic matrix of shared reality that we're living in. That is, that's creativity, right? It's it's what's created these incredible Buckminster Fuller epic domes that you're inside right now. It's composting toilets. It's it's all these incredible things. That's your creativity. That's your that's your God self, um, for lack of a better word. And um, I do that mainly through art and music. Um, and I'm a big proponent of uh, using art and music as a, as a vehicle for social change. Um, so I'm one of the, the rare, I guess, I get grouped into the, the DJ category of, uh, which I really don't prefer that word, but it's okay, um, of actually talking on stage. Um, and I believe that it's, it's a social obligation. Uh, it, is, it is just our moral obligation, really, to, to use the stage when sharing music, uh, to actually say something other than, is everybody having a good fucking time? Profit! Um, so, <laughs> I usually like to talk about a few different things when I'm on stage. Um, and so, and that is creativity, and that the other one is, uh, is collaboration, uh, because that is the foundation of my work. Um, I am a hardcore collaborator. I like to say that, and uh, it's uh, it's my favorite thing because I get a lot of me all the time. Can't get away from it, and uh, which is annoying unless I work with other people. And so, the essence of collaboration is is improving your weaknesses with others' strengths. That's what that's what collaboration is all about. Um, and that's how you build incredible communities like this. And that's how you. Uh, create large social movements, not on your own. It's by getting other teams who resonate with what you do. Um, and so you can create these things and uh, discover your blind spots and, and really push yourself forward. So um, my 10th album is coming out in five days. And uh, n the bulk of my work now is collaborative. And, uh, and when I look at the, the history of my work, I'm like, I don't even understand it. People are like, well, how, how have you written so much music? You're, for, I'm, I'm a creative genius. <laughs> hmm. Thank you. Um, and I'm like, oh, I'm not, you know, it's like I just have really cool people around me all the time. And, I'm, and I, uh, I think one of the foundations for, for collaboration is openness. That's, uh, you know, when we start to become closed and think that we actually know everything is when you have the fall of all like great civilizations and, you know, humanity as you know it and those kind of things. No big deal. Um, but openness is when you start to flourish, right? Openness of saying like, oh, I'm open to your ideas. I'm open to what you have to say. I'm not right. I don't know everything. Uh, that's when you have an incredible uh, collaboration. And uh, I'm so happy that I don't know anything. It's really great. It's, uh, it saves me all the time. Yeah, people are like, so if anyone knew me, they'd be like, you're a liar. You think you know everything all the time. But that's not true. Um, Anyway, so one thing I wanted to talk to you about, because I, I was at the uh, dinner table yesterday and listening to what everyone had to say and all the incredible things that everyone is doing here. Um, and I thought one thing that would be really cool to talk about is uh, exploring things that are outside of what you normally do. And I thought I'd just tell you a little story about something that, has, that helped me. Uh, so principally, I am a, a music producer and composer and mu music, music things and music universe. Uh, 
anything that you can do in the music universe, I like to do. But um, I've been preferring to say that I'm a creator because uh, music is what is my principal platform of sharing my message and what I do. But um, I can't do music all the time, otherwise I'm bored. Um, and I don't, and it's not even that I'm bored, it's just that I need to fill my well of creativity with other things. So um, several years ago, I was in, um, I was on Maui. Um, there was a woman who was like the, f the very first patron of my work who, um, Stephanie Farago, one of the most amazing women ever. And she would invite me to Maui. She said, as long as you're making art and music, you can stay in my house for as long as you want. And you can just do it. If you can make art all over, the, all over the house. You can make art in the kitchen. You can make art in the... You know, and she was the first woman who inspired me to be more comfortable with my body. The first time I ever, like, modeled nude for an art class and um, really uh, helped me tap into my self-love. Anyway, she passed away um, a few years ago, and I, was, and I was reading through her books, and I found this book um, called The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron, which if you haven't read that, I recommend you do. And uh, I was like, ooh, I'll read this book so I could figure out some cool things in my presentations because I think I know everything. And da, 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 da. and uh, I picked it up in the first couple pages. I was like, it was, it was talking about trying new things, taking yourself on these artist dates and, uh, and you know, just tr trying new things. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And for some reason, something clicked. And I was like, I'm going to become a photographer. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I work on music like maybe maybe too much, and um, so I bought a camera, and I started shooting. I started learning, and I st and I I'd, I'd kind of dove down the rabbit hole like I do with some things when you try new things, you know, and you're just like you're like I must know everything in the universe about this thing, and so I did that with photography because I do that. You know, I've done fa art and fashion and jewelry design and a lot of other things, but photography was my big one, and. I noticed that my music started changing. And I was like, this is weird. Photography has nothing to do with music, like pretty much nothing. It's a totally different medium. And, but what, was, what I was informing was new, new parts of my creative process. Um, and, and creativity doesn't really care how it's being expressed. It just wants to be expressed. You know, it's, it's your, it's my, my experience that it is my most direct way of uh, communicating with the universe, you know, when I, when I'm, whether it's uh, meditating or through my yoga practice or through, um, you know, active meditations, barefoot walks in nature and things like that. I, when I feel cr the creative spirit of, of, of the universe, it, it feels like it wants to be expressed through my, uh, through creativity, through something, right? Um, and, it, and it doesn't feel like it actually cares how it's being expressed. It just wants to be expressed. But it doesn't, you, you need to know how to do that, right? You, you have to, when I'm, when I'm making music and I'm sitting in front of a composition and I'm looking at it, I'm like, I have no idea what this needs right now. You know, and I'm thinking there's an infinite palette of things that I could be, of, of, I could be choosing from strings and horns and, and all these things. Um, you know, what, infor what is informing my creativity isn't like simply my mind. It's it's more of the no mind, right? And and the no mind isn't something you cultivate with studying. It's stuff that you just you have to practice being creative. And the no mind will inform itself. You don't have to that and that's what my whole point was with the with the photography. It was like I was just practicing making stuff. I'm like shooting stuff. I'm like, ooh, I can take a picture of this really close, and that looks like something like this. Ooh, I could take a picture of this really far away, and look, look like this. And that process of exploring creativity is what ended up informing my music and changing the, the process itself. It wasn't, I'm a photographer now, and because I shoot things like this, that's why I. It's not a mental process. It is practicing the art of exploring new things. It's your childlike wonder. It's your, your creativity and your creative being is a child, right? It's exploring. It's trying new things. It's drawing on the walls before you learn to, that that was not the right thing to do, right? You know, and it's like, 
Whoever was the, who was the baby? Who's the t- Taika? 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 Oh my God, that baby has such good rhythm. It's unbelievable. Elijah was playing. Who was here when Elijah was playing in the and Taika literally in in the exact moment? I was like, I thought it was a, a an adult. I was like, wow, that was a that was a good that was a good time to do that. Good timing, baby. So that was a baby. I'm like, wow, sweet baby. <laughs> Ten years, you're in my band. <laughs> Take my number, baby. And uh, amazing, 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 amazing. Um, so uh, my suggestion um, for, for any of you who are uh, here doing something maybe that is more focused on the mind um, is to go play with your no mind. Yeah. And there's so many ways you can do that, um, whether that's, I mean, I, I like I think the arts are an incredible opportunity for you for people to explore new things, especially who are very um, focused on the mind. Um, and the arts, it, that's a very wide range of things from interpretive dance. And you can do that, whether it's like with contact dance or ecstatic dance or um, just getting out of the parts of your brain, which are so focused on thinking and getting more into your heart where you can do a little bit more feeling. Um, you know, and I really resonated with what my brother Elijah was saying. You know, it's like we, we think it's one or the other, but we actually have, we have several minds. We got, you know, we have that one, which a lot of people think, with well, what? And we have this one, our power center. You know, we have this one, our heart. We're familiar a little bit with, our, with the chakra system here. And this, that we can think of those as, as, our, like, as our minds. You know, the, where we think from. We have this one, which is you know, our third eye, and then we have this bliss God self of, of our inner connection to everything in the universe that we feel with, with people in, in spaces like this where it's like, I know you already. You know, I feel like what the, the words that you're saying and the, the, the ethos that you're bringing into this world, I know that because that is my highest self. And you, you will have that with a lot of people in this room. But a lot of us are probably focused on like, well, how, you know, it is really important if you just live up here all the time, you're never going to get shit done, right? You know, just like, I just want this perfect universe where we all live in domes and there's multiple layers of permaculture and everyone eats off the land. And you're like, you like rice and rice doesn't grow here. And either do mangoes and they're delicious so you got to figure out how to do stuff, and that's practical, and that takes the mind. But when you get stuck in the mind, you know, look at our world. Our world is super stuck in the mind right now. They have not been playing in the no mind. You know, they forgot their childlike wonder. You know, that's one of my favorite things. My mom always just like, you're just so happy all the time. I'm like, I'm a child. I love this universe. Look at this pine tree. It's glorious. Look at this river. It's so wet. It's a, you know, that's like, you look at the child, they're like, wet water. Oh, my God. It's enough that it's wet water. Um, so, yeah, um, the way I'd like, I would invite you all to do that is just play with something. Get weird. Experiment. You don't have to be good at everything. You don't need to be a professional dancer to enjoy dancing. You don't need to be a professional singer to enjoy singing. You don't even need to be good. You don't even need to be good to be a professional. That's a funny thing. <laughs> uh, Bob Dylan has a horrible voice. It's so bad. And he is so good. You know, Leonard Cohen, really bad voice beautiful poet. I mean, we all have a, a, a little gift, but we get so caught up in, in what is good. What, um, you know, so I really invite us to redefine what we consider um, good and just throw that out the window um, and just have fun with it. You know, it's like this is, be a child. Remember your childlike wonder. Yeah. It's, it's such an important part of, it is the balance of the, of the mind, you know, when I sit and I make a composition, there are two parts. There's my 10,000 hours. There are the, all the things that I've studied, all the, all the artists, the composers, the musicians, all the photographers, all those parts of the different ways that I can put something together. And then there's the most important part, the things that, that make it so art and all of your ideas and your creativity, they come through you, not from you. They don't belong to you. 
and they're not yours, and that is your no mind, and I'm out of time, and I love you very much, and I look forward to playing music for you.